Hey beekeepers, this is Jeff here from Bees for Life. Hey, I made this new hive and the reason why I made this new hive is because there's a lot of older people out there that are having a hard time lifting up the boxes as they get older so they basically quit beekeeping. So I came up with this design for a bunch of reasons actually. One is for lifting up the boxes. Two is that you can lock the hive up. Um, three is that you can actually see the bees working as you go instead of lifting up a box and disturbing the frames and going in there and disturbing all the, the bees, the babies and everything. This way you can see the brood as you come up and you can actually pull off the um, plexiglass and actually put boards back on as you go. And I just want to run through this whole design with you so you know what's going on here. This does close too. So there's also a lot of people that are very leery about having grandkids trying to get into bees and also tipping over to beehives. So we put a lock on this one. And also with this beehive, you don't have to strap it down anymore. You can actually take the frames out when you, when you purchase it screw it on the back wall to either a house building or a tree so that takes a lot of effort out you don't have to pull the very top off anymore and reach down in there um, when you get this, this this actually slides to the front and this will be screwed so the only thing that you'll be lifting off is this and that's the ventilation comes from the bottom all the way through the hive and it vents out through this cupola design and also you feed your bees that way too during the, the spring and in the fall and in the winter so let me just go through this whole hive with you there's two doors on here this is plexiglass like I said I'm going to try to take my time and go slow and this hive is also great for the first year beekeeper and the second year beekeeper. I've got this design so you can actually do splits in this hive itself. So right now I'm just going to pull off a couple screws. The screws on here are to keep all the brood frames tight together because we are running the 4.9 millimeter keeping them all tight together we don't have any fur comb or anything building up and it's really easy to slide your frames out so basically there's seven frames in each brood so you've got 21 brood frames so when you start this hive out what's going to happen is you're going to start on the very bottom and also this hive though, you don't have any seams either from stacking boxes up and all that stuff. So you don't have the little bugs and the little insects trying to get through the, uh, the little slots and stuff of the, of the boxes that you've got established. So let me just get this going here for you. Okay, that's the back of the box. So when you get this, you can just drill a couple holes, two down there, or one out down there, or two up here, depending on if you're going to be fastening it against the building, or if you're going to be putting it against the tree. And these are the honey boxes all up here, the honey frames. I'm just going to show you step by step, because this is what it will be like when you get one. So. jar. Okay. okay, so when you first purchase this, what you'll do if you have a nook or a package B box, it, that's what will determine. Now if you got a nook, you'll get five frames with the nook. So all you have to do is put one frame, and this is all equally spaced too, so the bees can come from behind. So you put one, two, and then you put your five frames that have got your babies, your bees, and everything else. You put them right in the center.
This will be your nook. One, two, three, four, five. Now if this is a package bee, you put this just like this, you dump your bees in there. And your queen will sit right on top here for right now. So if we've got this going as a nook, what you want to do, or a package B, after you put them all in there, you want to slide this in here, and this is going to be your feeder. So this is how you're going to feed your bees, right like that, okay? And you're also going to take these screws so these frames are always tight together. Pretty simple. This way you won't have any burr comb ever building up in here. Now in the front, either if you put a nook or a package B, this is the front entrance way. And I, I keep screws in there so no mice can get in here. But when you when you got this set up and you put your bees in there, you want to plug up the bigger hole and the end hole and just lightly put a couple pieces of grass in here so the bees can push their way out. Now this is going to be your first entrance hole too. They're going to use this one and this one. Because in winter time, well, in the spring and in, in the um, summer months, you want them to get used to this hole. So as you build the beehive up, you want to open each one up. So when you put more frames up, you want to clog this hole, leave this one open. When you go up to the next level, same thing. You want to keep on going up and up and up. So for now, this is what it will look like when we're starting out a hive. Here we go. Let me grab a couple more frames out of here. So I can show you a couple things as we go. Okay, so if you start with a nook, you only have to work on two more frames. So when you come over here and open up the hive, all you got to do is look at this. You don't have to pull it all apart. As soon as they start drawing this, this foundation out, that'll look, start looking like that, that's when you want to start up to go up to the next level. And all you have to do at that point is pull this out and put in seven more frames. So you got one, two, and I always try to keep these back, the ones in the center, so the bees have an easier time coming through their hole or second entrance way. So when you put these in, you want to keep them back like that. And you can't screw up either. These frames will not fit into the topper um, sliding components there. So same thing. There's seven going in here. Okay. And then this will slide in here. Just like that. And at this point, you'll have this going on. nice about this is when you want to come in and check this now when you open up the door you're not disturbing the bees at all you can actually see if they've drawn this out yet like like I showed you on this frame so when they start drawing out this it's time to go up to the next level and that's your feeder there again where you put your jar like that okay so say they've got that drawn out what you want to do is you just pull this out okay and you want to go up another level. Oh, that off there. Sorry about that. Uh, oops. Trying to do things with one hand doesn't work out. There's two. Five, six, seven. 
Same thing is you'll screw right here to keep everything tight. You'll put this the feeder thing in there, same, same exact thing. And then after they get this drawn out, you want to go to your honey frames. And these are the exact same thing. You just slide them in your slot. And so on and so on. So same thing after they get that drawn out, as you see them start drawing on its end, you want to go up to the next slot, which will be up here. Like this. Same thing, they got the proper spacing there and everything. Now, moving on to the second year, if you want to do splits, I've got this design. So, if you want to do a split, what you want to do is when the drones are out and she's laying eggs, you want to take five frames out of here or here, find one day, two day old frames set them aside and what we do is we screw a box right on here and you can actually take these frames right out put them right in the box and they're not laying in the grass or anything like that so say you've got your five frames one two three four five now keep in mind this is the second year of beekeeping okay so you could either put a queen excluder in there so the queen from down below can't come through while you're making another nook but the good thing about this is using a queen excluder is all those worker bees and everything can be working on these five frames up here and establishing a new hive for you so if you don't want to use a queen excluder you can always add just a, a single board in here and then you've got a totally separate hive so the hole on the very front you'll keep open on the bottom and then you'll keep open the third the third cork coming up so keep in mind this is the second year again you've got your five baby frames and there's another slot not this one it says second year split you slide it right in here that's your second year split and you put your five frames in there and plus your other um, two other frames Seven. Now you will not have to feed these bees because these ones down below because that's from the first year that you're doing beekeeping so they'll have honey and pollen in there but this when you're doing a split you'll want to put the feeder thing above here like this put your jar in there and then once they've got this drawn out, this is another complete hive. This is like getting free bees, a free hive. They'll make their queen and everything, and you'll be able to slide those out and put them into another hive. Um, what's good about this, let's go back to the first year. We're going to slide. A lot of times, is there's beekeepers their first year and second year they're scared to do splits they don't know how to do them and they're constantly calling me up which is great and fine but this makes it so much easier for them it says right on here if you want to shoot this off it says second year split right on there you want, that's where those frames went right in here for the second year split this is the first year this is the second year I'm trying to make it as simple as possible We're going back to exactly the way you guys will be seeing in the in the spring, in the summer, in the fall. We're going to put it exactly the way it'll look going into fall time now. It's just so easy. There's no lifting boxes up that are 80, 80 to 100 pounds. It gets pretty heavy after a while. these things are totally in line with each other there's no like intertwined frames and getting all the bees have a hard time getting up once they start pushing these apart you run these screws in here they can't pull these apart they stay perfect no burr comb or anything like that so 
again, and I'm going to put these all back. We'll just put a couple in here. Just, just so we can keep going on that. So in the winter time, you want to put your feeder up top, okay, like that. Now keep in mind, if you if you don't want to use this plexiglass, a lot of people, you know, I'm a holistic beekeeper. I don't like using plastic and stuff, but this is a great way not to disturb your bees. So in the winter time, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be running a board like this. Oh, sorry, like this. This goes like this. What you want to do is you want to screw these down. Bam, bam, bam. And then this will line. Actually, I got this upside down, guys. Sorry about that. Got arrows to make it easier and making it harder on myself. I'll go just like that. Just screw that all down. A couple screws, eight screws, and you're done for winter. The door will close and it'll seal on this this rubber seal on here, so no moisture can get in there. So that's exactly what it will be through through winter time. And you can also do um, queen wearing too. If you're getting into being advanced, you can pull out one of these frames, stick in there, put in your little baby, your little eggs in there, and then we'll draw it out to make queens. So now we're going to close it up for winter time. Okay. These latch latch on here. This like this this. You can put a lock on here so no kids can get through there. Actually there's been a lot of people that have registered their bees and the people from the state come out and they open up the hives without your knowledge which I feel is not right. This way if you do put a lock on it nobody can access your bees until you let them access your bees. So basically in the, uh, in the winter time I like to keep the bees as warm as possible. This is all one and a half inches up to two and a quarter inches thick of wood so it's not like running your three quarter inch box where the um, the wind and stuff are going to blow through it and the condensation is going to get to it because the boxes are too thin. So what we like to do is um, we like to get them as, as thick as possible on here. So this will just slide on here like this. Now all you do can you take a look at this, Sasha? All you'll be doing is screwing six screws on there, and that's all you have to do. The top hole will be open for winter time. The bees will have access here, and if it snows and clogs up this, they'll still have ventilation coming through here, so you won't have to worry about your bees dying out from lack of oxygen. So, and then the way that you feed your bees are just through this top. If you want, can you take a look at that? There's a, there's a screen in there. All you do is stick your bottle in there, and that's how you feed your bees. Pretty simple. And like I said, if ventilation comes up through the top, you put a block on here, and this holds down your beehive. Now, if you don't want to screw the beehive down to a log or a tree or a building, you can always make a stand and actually strap it from the stand coming around, coming down on the side. It's whatever you guys want to do. But, just trying to make beekeeping a little easier for people. Another thing is, I forgot to mention, when you open your hive and you're working with the bees, the bees always try to get out and want to come around and get you. So if you're opening up a door like this, the bees are going to be wanting to come out there so it's less likely. Well, some will get you, but a lot of them won't get you because of those doors. So. This is my new design. This is Jeff from Bees for Life. Thanks for watching this video.